Hi, I'm Leona Brown. I have been involved with the MSA for about 10 to 12 years and was president from 94 to 96. I started out as a watercolor artist and am now doing large acrylics. I really enjoyed the Christmas parties. They were great fun. Uh, second, I found the juried shows to be a highlight for me, especially when um, I was president. I got to meet and see how the jurors worked, to, to meet them and to socialize with them. That was a highlight for me. How complicated it can be, how stressful it is, and how much time it actually takes. It was, it, was, it was a good experience, but exhausting. We would try to do it within a weekend, you know, try to bring down the costs of, of bringing the jurors in, but also to, to organize, you know, committees to be able to bring in the paintings. It was a wonderful organization to work because everybody was seemed to be willing to do the, the Joe jobs. I look for my gut reaction, I guess, on how the piece moves me, how it makes me feel. Then I look at the, the technical ness of it. Is it well composed? Does the artist seem to know what they're doing? But the the main thing for me when I'm during a show is the emotional impact that it has on me. Yes, some really good friends have been made through the MSA. It helps when you have a, the commonality of art and art history and to be able to talk in an intellectual level with other artists. Um, a lot of my social friends don't have that deep passion for art that a lot of the MSA members have, which is really refreshing. It, it's gonna sound so hokey, but depends on my mood like today I'm feeling that I want to work small and sort of intimate so I'm wanting to work in watercolor so I go through my pile of stuff to work on and I look at what sort of makes me stop and this is the piece that I felt that I wanted to work on today. I, I felt that I wanted to work kind of small and intimate with pen and ink um, and watercolor. Other days I'll feel as if, oh, I want to work with this giant brush and I want to use scrapers and I want to do something wild and wacky, well then I'll work with open acrylics. Um, you know, uh, I have a, a brush and a, or a scraper that I have attached to a broom handle or one of those rollers and I'll work large on my large acrylics using that. So again, it's going to be dependent on on my mood, on what I'm going to choose to do. Golden acrylics are so forgiving. They, I use them in conjunction with regular acrylics so that um, the open acrylics um, have a tendency, they take much longer to dry so I can play around and change things um, without having to worry about the paint drying on my palette in 20 minutes. It allows me to use the paint for a much longer period of time. There's much less wastage um, so if you're worried about, oh, it's so much more expensive, 
But you don't have any waste, you know, because you can revitalize it. You can bring it back to life by just adding water or um, a medium to it. So it's wonderfully forgiving. You can use your watercolor brushes without worrying about, you know, the, the paint drying on them and ruining a brush. It's interesting how at one point it was like this limey green. Um, but I, I would say I'm really drawn to the cool blues. I actually rejoice in them because I can add, you know, um, a burnt sienna, let's say, to, to an ultramarine blue and get a, a wonderful variety of, of grays. Um, but usually blues make me feel like a prairie sky, you know? I can feel kind of joyful. It's interesting. I never really understood, um, you know, reading about artists traveling and, you know, the masters and talking about the air quality and the, the color of the light being so different. But it really is. And I don't know whether it's, you know, the salt that's in the air when you're, you know, by the sea. I have no idea. But it is different. It really, it really is. I actually do uh, live performances. Uh, when I had the studio, um, I would advertise that I'm doing a, a live um, painting uh, to music, and um, I would hand out sheet music, and it would be um, ABBA was, was a really good one because their beat was sort of the same. And so we would start the music and I would start a painting. So in half an hour or 20 minutes, um, I would be moving and dancing and, you know, painting this painting with people singing and, you know, clapping and being part of this whole Abbey experience. And um, that was hugely successful. Um, so those, those paintings... I would have sold them maybe a month later because it would, it would take, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour to, to fill the canvas, to have the splats, the, um, you know, the runs and the spray bottle and, and everything going at the same time. Um, but it'd take about a month to sort of, finish it just to make it feel um, like a finished painting and that was really tough because you had to still keep the spirit of the of the work but it was great then I did a, an evening of Queen um, the Bohemian Rhapsody you know it was fabulous I love that it was exhausting but Wow, what a great experience. One of my favorite pieces that I would never sell is called My Grandmother's Box. Um, and it's important to me because my mother helped me with it. I cut up all sorts of old paintings and actually she helped me categorize all these little squares. She, she was most likely 92 at the time. And up at the studio, she would organize all these little tiles and squares into, you know, these. Oh, my gosh. Oh, these are my great grandmother's uh, cutouts. And that's what's in the painting are all these cutouts that she had in her little box. And my mother had kept all of these. And in cleaning out her home, I couldn't throw these out. So these are from old magazines and newspapers, Eaton's catalog. Um, yeah, I, I'd forgotten that I had these. 
that's why it's so important to me is that it has this connection to my mother, to my grandmother. And as these objects are flowing out of this box, um, I have taken my old paintings and added them to the composition and had my family pictures in it as well. So you can see that it's my history, my childhood, uh, my married life, and then my grandchildren are all sort of flowing out of this box as you sort of, and if you look at it from a distance, it almost looks like a river. Um, so things are all flowing out of this box. So my grandmother's box definitely would be my favorite piece that I've done.